Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Boss Time! And let's play Destiny of an Emperor against Lei Tong and Wulan. Now, these guys will deal the bulk of their damage with physical attacks, because they've got much higher strength than intelligence. So, I want my Dai to use Jameon to basically block all of their damage. And then, with everyone else, let's go after Lei Tong first, since he has more strength there, though it's not really a big deal either way. I had Madai use Jimmy on because he's got really good agility, although not good enough there. Yeah, you can basically ignore the message after Jimmy on. It's, I don't know what that's supposed to really mean. But, uh, okay, so we got Jimmy on set up, and it's carrying over to the next round. So, let's see, to deal with uh, the Tong, let's see, how about, yeah, we'll send Huang Zhong and Zhao Yun to get started on Wulan. Everyone else, go after Lei Tong. And now, you can see they're trying to attack us, but they can't because of Jimmy on there. So, it just cancels that, doesn't even check for accuracy or crits or anything. Okay, so yeah, it has a 3 and 8 chance of wearing off at the end of each round. But if, even if it wore off in the first round, I wouldn't bother setting it up again. It's not worth it to just keep on casting it over and over and over again. Nah. Now, just use it in the first round when we're softening up the bosses or buffing up or anything, and the rest would be relatively easy. But yeah, in this battle, I did not feel the need to use any buffs. Because, yeah, as you can see, they're pretty easy for us to take down without them. I would rather save my resources for the next battle at the castle there. And it looks like I'm going to use my last elixir on Machao there. That's fine. And, okay, yeah, now we can just go all out, finish them off, boom, we're good to go. Hooray! All right, and then, let's see, okay, so we have one elixir left. Let's get that ready to go. There we are. And let's finally take down the traitorous Liu Zhang. Boss time against Liu Jing, Gao Pei, Wu Yi, and Wang Lei. Let's see what we're dealing with here. So Liu Jing is pretty terrible with his strength and intelligence, which would support his decision to betray Liu Bei, apparently. Let's see, Gao Pei has a pretty powerful physical attack there. So does Wu Yi. And let's see, Wang Lei, yeah, nothing really special about him either, only slightly more important than Liu Zhang there. But, uh, okay, so, the first thing I want to do, again, let's use Jameon, and then I want everyone to use Beiji on themselves. So, hopefully, we'll be able to get Jameon to, uh, block the physical attacks. There we go. So, we're basically free and clear in the first round, and if it wears off, that's totally fine. I just want a little chance to buff up there and then get going. Okay, so for this part, now let's use power pills which stack with BEG. And I want to take out Gao Pei and Wu Yi first. I should be able to take both of them down. Don't even need to knock him below a thousand soldiers first. Nope, we just go straight to the source. Deal with them that way. And then we get a BG on Madai, and we should be good to wrap up this battle. Okay, so let's have my Battle Axe users, I think. Yeah, yeah, let's have them both go after Li Jing, and then Huang Zhong and Zhao Yun can take out Wan Lei, and that should be good. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, look at that damage we're dealing here. 
Easy enough. Well, settled would be a, a not quite accurate way of describing that, but I suppose it works, but all right. Now we have captured Chengdu. Let's see what they got around here. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, I guess. Why not? Eventually. For now, though, yeah, why don't we rest up here after that fight? Eh, maybe I could have saved it for a little later, but that's okay. Alright, so at the item shop here, I do want to buy some stuff. Let's see, I would like to get five gold wings. We're going to be doing a lot of warping around China coming up here. And that'll save us a lot of time. I mean, we can't warp any everywhere that I would want, but I can get as close as I can. Okay, so we got that. And then I want to sell all of my swords. Because we're going to get upgrades coming up here. But uh, make sure you hold on to the battle axes. Okay, and then... Let's see, one more. They've got quite a bit of equipment that I want to buy here as well. Including new armor. So let's get rid of the ring mail for everyone. And then make sure... Yeah, let's just... Uh, don't shell the battle axe. I did that once before. And we've got more than enough money to buy everything I want, so I'm not worried at all about, you know, how much we're going to be spending coming up here, or, like, how much I spent on recruiting those generals earlier, too. Okay, but I think that's all that I want to do right now. Okay, then, let's see, I don't need anything from the billet. Yeah, I think we're, yeah, we're good. We're good to go. Oh, okay. Well, is that good for us? I guess so. Oh, right, right. What else do we got going on here? Oh, okay. Bring the guy who orchestrated the mass murderer of your army. That's the lesson for the kids. Oh, really? What's the worst that could possibly happen? Oh, hmm. Nuts. But let's see, over here, if you examine this area, we pick up a scimitar! And, yeah, that's an, a new upgrade there. I would like to give that to Machao. And, let's see, we'll give his old battle axe to, well, someone else, anyone else, really. I guess, but uh, you could take that. Okay, we're good to go there. Now, let's, uh, well, yeah, equip our army with the weapons that we stole, I guess. Or, well, we're going to pay for it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so yeah, two battle axes to outfit the rest of my lineup. And then I want to get chain mail for everyone there. But yeah, even with all of the stuff that I'm spending money on. I've still got plenty left over. Hooray! And we're never gonna run out of food. So, that's pretty nice. Okay, so, yeah, we gotta equip the, the new chainmail. And what else was there? More, yeah, more battle axes now. And just when you think you're gonna catch up with the other generals that have special or unique weapons, we get even more good stuff. But I'd rather have a little bit of variety. Okay, so we've got all that. And then, yeah, we need to invite Liu Bei in order to advance the plot. So let's go along with that and see what else we got over here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, 
Yeah, so we did. Oh, yeah. He, is he coming here? Or did he already do that off screen? Oh, okay. So, yeah, we can't... Uh, or was it? Yeah, we can't talk to him here. We gotta find him. Uh, let's see, back, well, where he is, or where we found him. So, let's go in back to Luo. And, uh, well, yeah, I don't need to be in here. But has he finished forging the new equipment for our army? Find out next time on Let's Play Destiny of an Emperor. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!